This video will explain how to install an electromagnetic insertion flow meter in an unpressurized pipe. Pay attention! Before starting the following operations, make sure the pipe is completely empty. You will need to weld a 1 inch male threaded jacket to the pipe. First, we need to define the Z value, which is the length of the jacket where the meter will be installed. The Z value depends on the diameter and the thickness of the pipe. For this type of meter, we normally consider 1 8 insertion depth. Take the measure of the S value. If the pipe thickness is unknown, find the measure with an ultrasonic thickness gauge. It is 6 mm. Then we need to define the insertion length. Let's assume the pipe has an internal diameter of 800 mm. So 800 divided by 8 gives an insertion length of 100 mm. Now we can calculate the Z value. Take the sensor length of your meter defined by its size. You can read it in the manual. In this case, it is 176 mm. Minus the S value, 6 mm. Minus 100 mm of insertion length minus 32 millimeters of sensor nut, giving a total Z value of 38 millimeters. Mark the calculated value on the jacket, measuring from the top of the thread. Now we need to cut the jacket and weld it on the pipe, centered above the one inch hole. Please always rely on qualified personnel for these operations. Insert the meter and screw the nut paying attention to the PTFE gasket without over tightening. Align the connector axis with the pipeline axis. Then tighten the nut firmly. Now the meter is correctly installed. We can now power on and start the measure. Pay attention. Do not use liquid sealants on the threads because it may dirty the electrodes causing a bad measure. We recommend PTFE tape. Do not touch the electrodes with your hands. You may transfer dirt to the electrodes causing a bad measure. Always remember to ground the meter correctly. Please read the manual carefully. Thank you for watching. For any questions please contact us at sales at